To understand this, we need to take a closer look at our feet in action. So I've come to Dundee to meet Professor Rami Aboud. He's an expert in biomechanics, the science of how our body moves. And he's been researching exactly what our feet are doing when we walk and run. We can run a series of tests to show you what happens with the foot and leg when we walk and run. Rami is investigating how much pressure the weight of our body puts on our feet. So he has assembled an arsenal of technology, cameras, pressure pads, movement sensors, all set up to analyse what happens with each footstep. First, Rami wants to show me what happens when we walk. As you can see, she hits the ground at the heel, moves forward to the forefoot, comes off the ground, and this is normal way we walk. We all walk in this fashion. This is the data from the pressure pad. Red areas show where the pressure on the foot is highest. We can see this happen when the heel hits the floor. In fact, up to twice the volunteer's weight goes through her heel as she lands. It's why the tough skin and the pad of fat we saw in our dissection are so important. They help absorb the shock. And as the rest of the foot comes down, we can see how the pressure shifts. And you can notice here that most of the pressure that we saw under the heel is now localized under the ball of the foot and we're ready to push forward. And the last point of contact will come with the toes and mainly the, the big, big toe. toe. Right there. So that's a, that's a complete movement from heel strike to leaving the ground. Absolutely. We take thousands of steps every day and each one puts the pressure of twice our body weight on our feet. Next, Rami is going to show me what's different when we run. As you can see now from the uh, pressure patterns on the screen, and there is an impact of the uh, forces from heel to toes again. And the striking point here is that the pressure that you see under the heel, which is reaching sometimes up to three times your body weight. So that's very high. That's extremely high. And the heel will have to try to absorb that. So landing on our heel when we run sends a force three times our body weight up our leg. And Rami's computer shows us the direction that the force of the impact travels in. You can see this massive force that is going through the system from the ankle all the way to the hip. The arrow shows that the force from the heel strike is going right through all the major joints in the leg, the ankle, knee and hip. And this puts enormous pressure on these vital joints. What's really obvious is, of course, that, the, that if you compare this to walking, there's a point where both feet are clearly off the ground. Hey, uh, as you see it here. But every time the heel comes down, you've got the full body weight plus times three banging away at your, at your joints. This is a repetitive movement that you do during running, so it's not happening once or twice. Every year, it's estimated that up to 75% of regular runners suffer an injury. Some research suggests that the impact generated by heel striking could be a contributing factor. And Rami's work has revealed something surprising. It seems the pressure caused by the heel strike could be a relatively new problem that we humans have inflicted on ourselves. To see why, we're repeating the running experiment, but this time with a difference. Now this is really interesting. We, we've asked Charlotte to run with no shoes on, and that's remarkable. There, there is no heel impact at all. This is very normal. This is how most of us run. When we run bare feet, we we'll never land on the heel like we do when we're walking. We will only run on the ball of the foot. If you actually try to tend to run heel to toe, you'll be in deep pain. And uh, if you look at the actual screen there, all the impact is being taken by the ball of the foot. You're landing instantly on the most stable position and structure of the foot. Landing on the ball of the foot instead of the heel completely changes the way the force of the impact passes through our body. As you can see, the actual force is not going through the ankle. It's actually in front of the ankle, 
pointed backwards behind the knee. This force is now absorbed by the calf muscles. It's not going through the joint. So when the ball of the foot strikes the ground first, our calf muscles are able to take some of the strain off our joints. So your research is actually indicating that when we run with shoes on, we're actually running in the wrong way. Well, absolutely. As human beings, I think we are born to run. And that goes back to our ancestors when they used to chase game uh, over long distances. And they've done that without shoes or any cushioning material. Wearing shoes encourages you to land on your heel and that might cause serious injury. Today, it's hard to imagine going about our lives without shoes on. But although they make our feet feel more comfortable, it seems wearing them might have an unwelcome consequence. My name is Sahil and I'm from Rohtak, that is a place 45 minutes from Delhi. Research is a very important part in this particular, in this MCH because Back in India, we are more of an academician rather than being a research person, but here the research is like has equal importance. Back in India, I used to think, in, okay, I have to treat the patient and that's it. But here coming, uh, like doing pre-op, uh, pre-operative or talking to patient in a, in, a, in a more in an interactive way and being a family member rather than being a doctor. And even after the surgery, I can develop relationship with the patient so that I can I, I can come to know about like post-op rehabilitation, giving them more time, making their life more comfortable. Studying here, it has completely changed my life. The way I think, the way I treat the patient, because there are some something, some surgeries or some some skill which I have never would have gained back in my country. But here, I think I have gained it, and I will apply in practically in my life back in India. There are few surgeries which I have never seen and the way they do the surgery is pretty different. So combined, combining my knowledge from back in India and surgical skill from this place is going to make me a good surgeon back in India. My name is uh, Hussam. I'm uh, originally from Egypt. I um, graduated from there, got my master's degree from there. I came to Dundee uh, to join the MCH uh, course of uh, orthopedic surgery, which is uh, it's a well-known master uh, degree in orthopedic. All over the world, over 20 years, only 370 orthopedic surgeons from all over the world got this. So I feel very excited that once I'm already uh, graduated from this course that I will have I will be one of this very sp special community the other thing is scientifically I think this is the only course after my I did all my research and all my homework to find out what is the best I think this is the only course all over uh, UK and maybe the whole Europe that combine all the pillars of the orthopedic career it gives you your orthopedic clinical uh, information same time they are giving a condensed course about how to do the research how to do your statistical analysis of your data and one thing that it is not uh, covered in any other course is uh, uh, biomechanics. Well, we used to listen to our seniors, our consultants, our prof talking about the biomechanics and feel that, wow, this is how did they understood, how did they understand this? But now, after this course, I think one day I can stand and talk like them. My name is Amit and I'm from Delhi, India. You know, these courses helps not only in your thinking, but also in your planning in terms of going back to your community to serve in a better way, to narrow down on your uh, focus in orthopedic specialty. So this kind of environment allow you to identify your interest, to work towards your polishing on interest and developing a strategy to going back to your community. 
these days actually the innovation is coming by the fusion of different specialties coming together on one platform and here I got an opportunity to work on a computer assisted design and uh, probably I will end up uh, using computer assisted manufacturing to come up with one my replacement design for distal radial and joint so in this way I think this is pretty innovative you don't find these kind of a things in a common orthopedics department anywhere I think in Asia I have never seen a department where the bioengineering, where the medical physics, where the orthopedics itself, along with the sports and all these things are fusing here. So I don't see any other department in my country or maybe in Asia which can come up uh, this kind of a curriculum that allow you not only to excel in different uh, allied fields but also improve your operative and cognitive skills in uh, orthopedic surgery and allow you to work on your ideas and work on your um, innovative solutions for different problems that you have ever thought about. Thank you. Um, I'm Golaho Adimwa. I'm from Nigeria. Um, I'm here in Dundee as part of my uh, one year study leave abroad, which is part of the the training I'm currently on in Nigeria, the fellowship training in Nigeria. We don't have this facility of the uh, opportunity of having these dynamic lectures that we have here. And then the high caliber of, uh, of the faculty here, we don't have it back home. And also because the facility I'm exposed to here uh, is going to sharpen my clinical skills you know, when I get back to Nigeria. So altogether, my experience in Dundee is going to make me a better surgeon uh, back home. For like two years, I've been trying to look for a, a postgraduate program that will suit in, that will fit into my uh, my training back in Nigeria. So I've been on the internet trying to look for a program that will suit me. And I came across the uh, University of Dundee MCH Auto Program like two years ago. And uh, since then, I just picked it up. I developed the interest and I contacted them and they offered me their admission. Um, so as soon as I return to Nigeria, I will sit for the final exam. My experience here is going to help me to, to, to come out successful in that exam, I'm very sure. And even with my practice, my experience here is going to take me to a, a higher level, even more than my my peers at home. I believe I'm going to be a, I mean, a, a tough flying orthopedic surgeon back home.